hello guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl star flames if you're new here be sure to subscribe to my channel turn on your notification bell and join the family so guys in this video we're going to talk about miss kimmy cakes returning from her visit to the richard j donovan correctional facility in san diego where she met with the mendez brothers brothers that is sorry now you guys know that kim kardashian and ryan murphy they have worked on a few projects now what had happened was ryan murphy along with netflix they had re um released a docuseries about the mendez brother the mendez brother they have since then seen the documentary and they're not happy about it they're saying that Ryan Murphy had specific intentions to ruin their image and reputation. And knowing that, they have endured so much as kids. And for Ryan Murphy to be flipping the script and to make it seem as though they just did something out of no reason, it is very hurtful and damaging to them. So it seems as though Kim Kardashian was the middleman. So she went to the correctional facility that was on Saturday. Yes, the very same day that, you know, people started with the rumors of Kim being pulled over by the F um, FBI or the feds. Again, guys, it's not true. So <laughs> let's move on from that. But again, it's up to you to believe what you want to believe. Now, when Kim Kardashian went to the Richard J. Donovan Correctional F Facility, her mom, Kris Jenner, accompanied her. Khloe Kardashian also accompanied her. She always have, um, you know, people, you know, going there with her or she always had, um, asked her family to accompany her. The last time we saw Khloe, you know, accompanying her, their little baby was there as well. And that's when the entire rumor started about Chloe and little baby. But let's get into some of the reports coming out from the mirror so that you guys can have some more details for your reference. So according to the mural, Kim Kardashian recently paid a visit to the Richard J. Donovan Correctional Facility where she met with around 40 inmates, including notorious brothers Eric and Lyle Mendez. Joining the Kim's founder on this visit were her sister Chloe and their mom Kris Jenner. Film producer Scott Budnick and actor Cooper Kosh who portrays Eric in the Netflix series Monster, the Lal and Eric Mendez story. The visit was focused on criminal justice reform, an issue that Kim is deeply passionate about. She has previously visited prisons to learn more about rehabilitation programs and prison reform, which has been documented on her reality TV show. A key topic of discussion during the visit was Green Space, a project led by Lala Mendez, which aims to improve prison yards to aid inmate rehabilitation. Eric is also involved in the project alongside his brother. The the visit reported by TMC comes after Eric Mendez recently criticized Ryan Murphy and the Netflix show according to post of his brother Lyle's Facebook page and his wife Tammy Mendez ex account. Now, he lamb blasted the co-creator co for the vile and ruinous portrayals of his brother. The Lal and Eric Mendez story as depicted in Monsters has been slammed by one of the brothers for being riddled with blatant lies and ignoring their claims of childhood and sexual abuse. The Mendez brothers have long maintained that they were victims of physical, emotional, and sexual abuse at the hands of their parents. Eric expressed his disappointment in a statement saying, it is with a heavy heart that I say I believe Ryan Murphy cannot be this naive and inaccurate about the facts of our lives, so has to do this without bad intent. No. Currently, um, they're serving life sentences without parole for first degree murder and conspiracy to commit murder. The Mendez brothers shot and killed their parents, Joe's Jose and Mary Louise Kitty Mendez in 1989. I think we all have heard about that. And there was also some other like um, the ID channel like documentary, something like that, where they gave a recollection of what took place. Now, 
In the limited series, Nicholas Alexander Chavez and Cooper portray Lyle and Eric while Javier Bardem and Clo Chloe Sevinji played their ill-fated parents. Details about the encounter remains under wraps, but it's said to have been an intriguing one. Kim previously collaborated with Ryan Murphy on another iteration of American Horror Story titled American Horror Story Delicate, which aired September 2023 to April 2024. You guys remember that? And they said that was the lowest rating American Horror Story season. And from the get go, many people told them that, you know, already American Horror Story was going downhill and you guys are including Kim and Kim is not a good actress. So American Horror Story took a dunk that season. But Kim and Ryan Murphy, they have been still working together. So I believe what went there is that Kim went to visit the Mendes brother, the one to strike peace and maybe do a bargain with them. Because, you know, in the Kyrgyzner circle, it's always some payoff money. Hush, hush. Don't complain about this. We're going to pay you. But um, I believe it is within the, within the Mendes brothers' rights to blast Ryan Murphy as they see fit because, I mean, they're saying that this is what we endured. This is what we encountered. And I actually believe that they endured um, abuse from their parents. I do believe that while it's never okay to commit vicious crimes or vicious acts, you never know what those things can do to a person's psychological health so we also have to be mindful of those things but guys that's all i have to share in this video with you all let me know what are your thoughts while you're at it remember give this video a big thumbs up share if you care see you guys later bye guys